crazy, yo, crazy. It makes me wonder, like, what else did you guys do? Like, what is your damage? Like, oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on Twitch and TikTok at Lehua Superfina. In today's video, we're going to review that time I got reincarnated as a slime season three episode 57 titled the scheming of the seven days yeah this episode was literally about the scheming of the seven days clergy like we were already suspicious of them and this is showcasing how much more in the last episode we saw the leonard was sent out to the Jura Tempest Federation and he was pretty much told to do that or advised to do that by the seven days clergy and then at the end of the episode we see that he realized that something's not right something's off something's wrong and he should have trusted Hinata and let her do what she wanted to do because he's starting to realize that what the seven days clergy told him didn't seem right and now in this episode episode 57 we are seeing that more battle sages are being set up they are sent towards falmouth to help them against their fight against yom who's in middle and there is so much going on. We see Diablo in action. We see Ranga in action. We see one of the battle sieges in action. His name is San. I love how they're saying his name. <laughs> and then we see that he has a realization. It's like, oh, snap. This is something's not right. I think we're being set up. The information we got is false. It's not correct. And it's just wild how things are unfolding. However, things can't really get rectified because like in the last episode, we saw that Hinata got hit by an attack and it looks quite fatal. And in this episode, we kind of see something similar. Yeah, and it's crazy. I'm super excited how they're building up the story. And I just want to go over the episode and such with y'all and then get maybe your intake on it. So let's talk about the Falmouth thing. So the, the episode kicks off with some political intrigue in Falmouth, right? We got Damrata, the merchant, the East merchant, who are super shady, that are like another group of claimant. And they're they're piecing together the puzzle, I wanna say, because you're seeing where they're touching. And Damrata was part of the East Merchant group. He sees Rimuru and Maris and even Edward, who's Edmaris's brother, all playing their own games, and he's determined to bring down the demon who supposedly killed Rahane. And little does he know, the real villain is about to get schooled. <laughs> then we got Edward. And Maris's brother, uh, the guy who became the next, the new king. He's the new king of Falmouth. And so we see King Edward making a bad decision. And he's gearing up to attack Yom's hometown with the help of some elite warriors called the Battle Sages. But there's a twist. Um... Uh, the battle sages aren't fully on board. Yeah. Because they too uh, want to find Raheem's killer. And they all think it's Diablo. 
And because, you know, it was said that a demon killed Rahim and Diablo's a demon. So, yeah, they're, they want to confront him. <laughs> and Diablo just eradicates him. Like, he... He's watching this whole thing, okay? He's all watching the whole thing unfold from the sky. Kind of reminds you of like Rimuru. Seeing one of the battle stages leave with the army. The this army is about to confront Ranga, Gopta, Gabiru. That's gonna be a pretty cool scene. <laughs> And then Edward Army gets steamrolled by, yeah, I said steamrolled, <laughs> by Ranga, Gupta, Gabriel. Like, yo. And then comes the showdown everyone's been waiting for, which was Diablo versus Edward and the remaining battle sages because remember one went with the army that was going to that was heading towards yom's hometown yeah and so diablo creates a force field to protect these reporters that are in the area and pretty much all the other civilians that weren't part of the fight and it's weird because after he does this, Edward, blinded by rage, you know, refuses to cooperate with Diablo because Diablo is like, okay, just surrender and we can forget all about all of this. Like, stop going to Niddle and you can go back home. And Edward's like, no, I have proof. He has like this crystal ball that's showing Raheem, you know, confessing saying who killed him and whatnot and you know Raheem could have been forced to say all that for the recording so it's like is it still valid is this really good evidence like we, we don't even know if this was if he was coerced or not yada 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 but yeah anyways so Edward is like being belligerent he's resistant and so Diablo's like, fine, bring it. Unleashes his true power. Yeah. And then we, it's interesting because the East Merchant Group sent over demon hunters. And these demon hunters are also from the East. And they're very familiar with demons. So it's very interesting that they so happen to be fighting against Diablo. And once they finally realize who he, he is, they're like, oh snap, we should not have come here. But anyways. Yeah. Then the remaining battle sages try to put up a fight, but they're no match for Diablo. Glenda the redhead, the one that we saw talking with the East Merchant Group. Uh she runs away. Okay, you she could say that it was a tactical retreat, but no. She ran away. She thought she was hot shit and she could defeat him and he blocked, parried repelled her attack but when she saw Sar in action and Diablo not even flinching that's when she ran away so we can tell that she's not the strongest battle sage of the 10 great knights that's what I'm taking like she's a coward it's like she is siding with the east merchant group because she wants to be on the winning side and she thinks they're gonna win shady shady b so after she runs away uh, Sar starts to suspect Diablo might be innocent. Yep, that's when he starts to realize that what he was told by the Seven Days clergy may be false. Yeah. We find out that he was sent there by the Seven Days clergy and being manipulated. And yeah, the schemes. The schemes of the seven days. 
And so just when Sar like figure things out and things seem to settle, three mysterious figures appear. Yeah, guys, the seven days clergy. They show up after Sar is realizing that something's up. The timing, yo, the timing. And they power up. They get ready for an, an attack. And they're aiming the attack not towards Diablo, but towards the reporters, the civilians, the ones that are being protected by Diablo's barrier. And it seems like they want to silent witnesses like they don't want anyone to know what's going on crazy yo crazy it makes me wonder like what else did you guys do like this is so extreme what is your damage i even said that during my reaction what is your damage like oh my gosh so anyways meanwhile Things are not looking good for Hinata. Yeah, remember we were talking about that in the last episode? Hinata got hit by like this blast that, that looked like a dark matter kind of thing. Probably to, oh, what's that called? Frame, remember? But anyways, the Dragon Buster attack. So the Dragon Buster attack was from the sword that the Seven Days Clergy gave her, right? Left Hinata critically injured. Yeah. And Rimu can't heal her with his usual magic. He can't heal her with the potions. And that is because Hinata has a resistance, yo, to any type of magic. And they get scientific about it. They explain why. And it's just like, no, her own skill is working against her. So only holy magic will be able to heal her. And that's a problem. To make matters worse, the seven days clergy arrive on the scene and restrain the four of the ten great saints who could potentially heal her. And they're saying, we're here to eliminate Hinata for violating orders. So it's like, no, this is so shady. This is shady as half because they could eliminate her and say Rimuru killed her. And the other saints would probably be eliminated also because they would be witnesses right that's gnarly so they're restraining the saints so they can't heal Hinata and so what eliminate her are you just gonna let her bleed to death are you just gonna let her die right there like is that what you mean by eliminate her it's not looking good like so much scheming going on and this whole episode was a wild ride yo we saw some interesting political maneuvering in falmouth watched edward get thoroughly humbled by diablo and left hanging with hinata's life in the balance yo it looks like next episode will be packed with even more action and drama until then let us know your thoughts on this episode in the comments below what did you think about diablo's power display and will he not to be okay yeah but we'll be back next time to find out so hope you guys like this video reviewing that time i got reincarnated as a slime season three episode 57 the scheming of the seven days let me know what you guys thought 
let me know what you guys thought about this review and if you guys want to get into more stuff with anime and manga we host podcasts across worlds where we like to read a lot of manga watch a lot of anime and talk about it for hours <laughs> we also interview people in the anime industry so if you're interested in that don't forget to check out the description with the link to the podcast podcast across worlds other than that i'm lehua and this is a superfina channel reviewing that time i got reincarnated as a slime season three episode 57 the scheming of the seven days hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on the next one ahoy ho